Have you ever heard of Jollibee before? Never. No. I've heard of it, but I've never seen one before. Jollibee, the world's greatest- My boy John Oliver. John Oliver is great. Jollibee can promise you happiness. Oh, he can promise you happiness. Okay, then I'll be happy. Oh my gosh, I just saw this! <laughs> Go off. This Jolly Bee is getting sexy. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Wow. Jolly Bee character can dance better than I can. <laughs> Jolly Bee is a wildly popular Filipino fast food chain with more than 1,200 locations worldwide, and today we're gonna be trying it. That's fire. All right, babe, let's run it. Great. Always wanted to try it, but no one has told me like what to get. Oh, kind of looks like something from KFC. Chicken, chicken, spicy. Presentation, fire. So first up, we have Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is basically the Filipino counterpart to KFC, but it's so much better. It's described as being perfectly seasoned to be crispy-licious on the outside and juicy-licious on the inside. Mm. Plus, it's called Chicken Joy, so how could you not love that? It smells great. I've never had deep-fried chicken before. Juicy-licious, we'll see. On chicken, you gotta go for the skin first. This is great. It's the perfect amount of crunchiness. That is juicy delicious. Okay. I'm moving to Philippines. I'm having kids there. I have to start a whole new life just because of this. It tastes like a chicken nugget, but like on a stick. <laughs> on a bone. There we go, not a stick. Now we're gonna try spicy. I'm scared if it's gonna be like really, really spicy. Okay. So good. Oh. Oh, this one's really good. It's actually not that spicy. Like, it's just like peppery. I ain't gonna lie. This is killing KFC though. Delicious. Whoa, it's coming back. Spiciness is kicking in. Oh, well. Now it's getting kind of spicy. <laughs> There's some spice. Wow. That was like a really delayed, didn't hit me with the spice until just now. I would rate this a seven because the flavor is really nice. It's seasoned very well. I would rate this an eight. 10 out of 10 because it's so good. Like an eight. I would give this a 10 out of 10. If it was one more, I would give it an 11 out of 10. It makes you want to move to the Philippines. In 2017, Jollibee marketing went viral, not for its beloved mascot, but for a video series called Quentong centered around a Valentine's Day and love. Hmm. Oh, excuse you. So busy enjoying this Jollibee so I could see you. Cute, cute. He loves a woman that can eat, you can tell. How did he get that in her locker? I want a guy that will do that for me. Where do I find one of these guys? Oh no! Cheering for you too. Oh man. Yeah, now's your chance! Now's your chance! Oh my god, they're meeting at last. She's like my hero. Ew, go away. Maybe talk to her in person. That would help. If that's the end, oh, okay. I was about to say, that better not be the end. Oh my god, is this the reunion? Wait, is this when they're older? <gasps> oh! If a guy will bring me food, I will instantly fall in love with him. That's love. For those who didn't give up on love. Celebrate the joy of love! That's so cute! That was emotional. That was fire. That was awful. We have the classic Yum Burger with Jollibee's special sauce, one of the initial food items sold by Jollibee at their first flagship product. Does it come with a guy? Awesome. The cheesy Yum Burger. Ooh, a Yum Burger. This reminds me so much of McDonald's, and I bet it's even better. I like the sauce. First thing you taste is the sauce. It's nice, it's like a, ooh. Not like a big sauce person, but like I like a little sauce. It's a nice sweet aioli. Oh my gosh, look at that sauce! I would have extra sauce to dip it. Tastes like frosting. <laughs> Man. I don't think this sauce really goes well on a burger. Hello? Prince Charming? He's not here. So that's a downside of the burger. Uh, I would give this a nine out of 10. I would give it like an eight. Maybe an eight, let's go eight. All it is is meat, cheese, and the sauce with a bun. And it's really flavorful. I would rank this as a four because it, 
I don't know. I was expecting more. I would rate this an 8 out of 10. You could tell that there is no cap in my rap on if it was good or not. Ooh. Oh. No idea what this is about to be. They sell spaghetti? What the heck? The legendary Jolly Spaghetti features noodles, ground meat, sliced hot dogs, and their signature sweet sauce made with banana ketchup. Those things are all things that made sense individually, but together? Hot dog pasta. How can you go wrong? But then with the banana ketchup. A little sweet flavor in there. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. We will see. You know how bananas are strong. Like, you get a banana in a smoothie and it's you killing everybody in there. A full thing of spaghetti? At a fast food place? Um, I like sweet things, but I don't know about with my spaghetti. It's actually not bad. It kind of tastes like um, like teriyaki sauce. I hate that I got to be like the Simon, the Simon Kyle of this right now. Like, but the sauce is peculiar. Hmm. I think having the hot dogs in it makes it seem more fast food like. Put a little red pepper in. That's all it needs. Some red crushed flakes. Yeah, my brain is confused because it thinks it's gonna go towards the tomato side, but it stays a little lighter. I will rate this probably like a five. I'll give us a nine out of ten. I'd probably rank this like a six. It still tastes good. Like it doesn't taste bad. I just probably wouldn't order it. I'd rate this a six. Not my favorite. I'd say like a six point five. It hurts my heart, but then it doesn't because it's just like who gotta touch your heart. It's like a mystery surprise. Oh. Yeah. Shrimp. Is that an egg? Oh, it smells so good. What is happening right now in my life? So this dish is called pancit palabok. It's also known as fiesta noodles. It's a classic Filipino dish that comes with an array of toppings. Glass noodles are covered with a garlic sauce, crushed pork rinds, shrimp, and egg for a party like no other. There's a lot going on here. Have you ever seen something like this before? Never. Cool. All right. You're kidding me, correct? It tastes like kind of bland. Yeah, I don't really like this one. This is so good. That is kind of disgusting. That's pretty good. I like the garlic sauce. That is very nice. I think it's like the noodles in the sauce. The glass noodles are so cool. It's like little jellyfish. I'm not like a huge fan of like any of the things that are on this. It's just not happening. Not doing it for me. Nope. And this, this looks like it would be served at a nice restaurant, not a fast food place. Maybe like a five. So I'll give this a seven. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I give this a 10 out of 10. You know, flavor gotta kick you like, bow. It's not kicking me. I would rate this a three. It's a bit out there. I would rate this a seven. The garlic sauce really tips this one over the edge for me. Sorry, chick fil -A. My new favorite fast food restaurant. Okay. What else could they possibly serve at this place? This is more my alley right here. Okay, we have like some type of mushroom patty. This is a savory sweet beef burger patty that it's smothered with mushroom gravy and served with a scoop of rice for a dish simply named burger steak. Burger steak. Hmm. I love it. Gosh. I can't believe this is hamburger. The rice is amazing, of course. Gravy? Gravy me any day. I like this. It's nice and simple. It's meat, rice. The sauce is really good and flavorful. Yeah, I will definitely be getting this. After your workout meal, you know? Like this will really, it's bulking season, like okay. This is really good actually. And this is something that I could eat and not feel too guilty about as well. It reminds me of some type of like dish I had in like elementary school for some reason. It's like a prepackaged meal. Let's do a little dance, I like this. I would rate this an 8.5 because it's kind of guilt-free. I'll rate this eight. Because first off, it's different. Nobody's coming with a burger steak. A six. Probably seven. It's pretty good, it's not bad. I give it a 10 now. It's growing on me. This, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Every bite, it feels like somebody's just like, saying take one more. Solid TV dinner for sure. I just need some alone time with this. <laughs> I seen where he uh, he came to McDonald's and it's like, okay. Finally have Jollibee's Ube Pie, similarly portable like McDonald's apple pie, but filled with the earthy, sweet, and stunning purple yam called Ube. 
Are you kidding me? This is like a treat that you would get at Disneyland. I feel like this is like straight off the like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay. Very crunchy. It's not like too sweet. It's the right amount. It tastes like a carrot. It tastes like a like a custard flaky donut. Oh man, the outside is fantastic. This crust that they use is so delicious. It's sweet, but it's not like so sweet that I feel like over sugared. That's the last color you would expect to be in a pie, purple. But the yam is really good. I wouldn't expect that. I would give this an eight because, you know, it's delicious. I would rate this a seven. A seven. Nine out of 10, nine out of 10. I would rate this a five because. Personally, I'm not a big sweets fan. There is a lot of yam in it. Jolly Bee is top tier fast food. Um, I just got put on. I didn't know about this until today, and I am completely sold. To sum it all up, like it, try it, do it. It's amazing. So we've tried this, but what do you guys think? Have you tried this before? Let us know in the comments below. And tell us, what should we try next? As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about People vs. Food. Bye. 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 <laughs> Peace out. Love.